My name's Trevor. I've been riding trials for about 15 years now. We're here in Toronto, Canada, and this is the G-Spin tutorial. It's extremely satisfying once you finally nail the trick, but it takes a few steps to get there. And I think, thinking back to when I first learned it, it was a huge moment in actually bike control and getting into the trials world of, of bike skills. During the G-spin, your body and your bike are doing an initial balancing act to find the proper takeoff spot and then it's a massive torquing with your bike and body to pull and generate that spin momentum to carry you up and around and back down for a 360. You're starting just as if you're in a track stand and from here it's all about the initial torque on the opposite side of the bike which will pull you up and around. So that's step one, is to get the torque. So step two is simply just countering that force and pulling up. Here we go. One, two, three. You're pulling up as if you're almost doing an elliptical loop right back down. You're not pulling out and going around. It's a pull up and back down. Not a sideways lateral movement. The final tip on how to learn the G-spin is what I like to call the four P's. It's your formula to learning pretty much any skill. Progression. It's going to take a while to figure out your steps. You're not going to be able to get the whole thing in one day or in one solid movement. It's going to take progression of the actual movements. Learning how to get your bike this far. Learning how to get your bike this far. And then eventually, learning the full movement and coordination of your bike and body for the full G-spin. Practice. It's not going to come without a lot of practice, a lot of time on the bike, a lot of coordinating the bike and body. So just keep at it, just like anything. Just like playing darts, trying to hit the bullseye. Got to keep at it with learning the coordination of your bike and body. Perseverance. You have to keep tough in these moments of learning a new skill because you definitely want to give up you know, you don't think it's going to happen, your body can't do it, or whatever the cause may be. So just keep focused on your desire to learn the skill. Protection. Things with bikes can happen. So you especially want to be protecting the vulnerable spots. If you're riding trials especially, like your shins, uh, your head obviously, because this does involve some spinning, and you could get disoriented. So you want to keep mindful of those core areas of your body that are vulnerable for areas. So remember the four P's, progression, practice, perseverance, and protection, and have fun G-spinning.